you will be shocked and amazed by the abilities of these kids and the talents. This is Marco Melendez appearing on a show from our script station in Milwaukee on January 26, 2017. We're part of an overarching organization called Milwaukee Children's Choir. Melendez was the musical director of that organization. More than seven years later, he's charged with sex crimes in Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, including child enticement and third degree sexual assault. The accuser was a member of the Milwaukee Children's Choir and said the alleged abuse started when he was a kid. The criminal complaint described a three year period where Melendez allegedly touched the accuser inappropriately 80 times while riding in the car, offered to perform sex acts on him, fondled him and sexually assaulting the accuser when he became an adult in 2019. On Tuesday, authorities in Wisconsin issued a warrant for Melendez's arrest. When I read through this report, I see the definition of grooming a child for sexual assault. WCPO found out Melendez was working as the music director for Queen of Apostles Parish family in Cincinnati. On Wednesday, Father Alex McCullough sent out a letter to parishioners saying, as of Tuesday, Melendez is no longer working there. He said they gave Melendez a background check when they hired him in February of this year and nothing criminal came up. It also said they are not aware of any allegations during his time at the parish. Melendez's biography is no longer available on the website. It seems like uh, when something happens or if there's an allegation, it does seem to be like uh, there's a little bit of scrubbing happening. Teresa Dinwiddie Herman is with the nonprofit Ohioans for Child Protection, which is pushing for Ohio lawmakers to outlaw child grooming. We have seen this in other cases in Ohio where nothing has happened to a predator that is doing this type of communicating with a child. And that is why we want to have a grooming law on the books. And we reached out to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office and Cincinnati Police to see if they're working with authorities in Wisconsin to find Melendez since he has an active warrant for his arrest. But so far, we haven't heard back. In downtown Cincinnati, Brett Baganski, WCPO 9 News.